After airing an hour-long report on violent and addicting video games, journalist Katie Couric has decided to reach out to gamers on Twitter. Earlier today, she encouraged her followers to tweet messages that speak to the positive side of violent games. Her tweet was as follows. Passionate gamers upset whether violent video games can contribute to behavior. Tweet the positive side of violent games. Thanks. Couric followed the tweet with another telling her followers that she would like to use the comments for an upcoming show. How or what they would be used for was not specified. The tweets were in response to the backlash that Couric received after her special report aired on Monday titled, Are Video Games Ruining Your Life? It featured testimony from Daniel Petrick, who cited video games as being a catalyst for the shooting and killing of his mother on October 20th, 2007. I don't know where to begin with this. There are just so many things wrong with both the statement, reasoning, and the way that Ms. Couric reached out to gamers as though she was running a poll. It all just seems really misguided on so many levels. First off, she airs a report attacking video games. If that's not bad enough, her key guest and voice for gamers is a guy who kills his mother and blames video games for it. Not even taking into account that there's obviously something wrong with this guy, she takes his words on games. I'm sure a guy convicted of murder is going to be a sure mind and totally objective about why he killed his own mother. Where is the logic there? Second, reaching out to gamers after already placing the blame is just wrong. It's already too late, the damage has been done, and a lot of people are upset. She can't just expect to do a one-sided piece and then come back to the other side and ask their opinion on the subject without consequences. Life does not work that way. Thirdly and lastly, the way that she approached the community was rather disrespectful to players. She essentially came out and said, Hey upset gamers, tell me good stuff about violent games and I will use it later on in my show. As if she has not stirred up the pot and people's emotions enough already. She had to know that many responses would be harsh and not shed a positive light on the gaming community. It's just another case of sloppy journalism. All too often we see journalists quick to jump on the press that video games are responsible for the deranged individuals out there. Just once it would be nice if one of them did their homework and researched both sides of the issue before picking sides and reporting, and stop tarnishing the face of gaming without checking to see why the community is so upset. As always we'll keep our eyes open and see what happens next. That's all for now. Peace out. <laughs> <laughs>